I did. You, you called me about a patient? His name is Ron Frankel. He was mugged at an ATM. No serious head injury, but looks like his right hand is fractured, so I ordered you an x-ray. Thank you. Sure. See you later. Mm-hmm. How's Italian sound? Like Spanish, only more lyrical? Yeah, I meant for lunch. You canceled on me last week. You're supposed to do it today. Oh, Jack. <laughs> You're I'm, busy. Uh, well, I have an appointment. Ugh, I'm sorry. I, You know, I've got to get one of those calendars to write all this stuff down. I mean, I have these post-it notes all over my apartment. You just must have gotten lost. Yeah, well, people tend to remember what's important to them, Lisa. Thanks for understanding. Okay. Jack, let's have dinner instead. I'll cook. I don't want to put you out. No, I get off early. I'll make chicken etouffee. Oh, I love etouffee. Well, mine's the best. Okay, but I'm only coming for the food. Fine. Absolutely nothing to deserve this, but I have for you a little commemorative token. What are we commemorating? Our official first date. So we're actually dating? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to call it that. Hey, I've seen this show. Didn't he get shot? A day planner. How romantic. Help you remember future dates with me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, you know, the chicken's getting cold. Better that way. Well, no, really, we have to eat. <laughs> because, um... I'm going somewhere later. Really? Well, let's consult the old calendar here. No, no, nothing scheduled. I'm serious, Jack. We had a date. How could you plan something else? Well, I couldn't help it. It's, it's a friend who's shut in and feeling miserable, so I want to bring over some books. Look, I'm sorry it worked out like this. But hey, let's eat. I'm starving. Hey, late night? Oh, uh, hi, Jack. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Don't worry about your friend. Huh? Your friend. You shut in. Oh, no, not that, no. It's just insomnia. I see. What's wrong? Why are you jerking me around, Lisa? Jack, I don't know what... You went to visit my brother last night. What the hell is that all about? You followed me? No, that's your other boyfriend. I went to visit my brother... And I saw your name in the sign-up sheet. Let's get something straight. You're not my boyfriend, and you have no right to scrutinize my behavior. And you have no right to lie to me. If you don't want to see me, just say so. But what you're doing is nuts. Well, he doesn't have anybody else. Excuse me. You don't even like him, Jack. Because I know him. Well, he's a human being, and he deserves compassion regardless of what he's done. What do I deserve? I haven't killed anybody. Do I deserve to be lied to? You know, I don't even want to have this discussion. Yeah, I'll bet you don't. Oh, get the hell out of my office! How about out of your life? Even better! Ron Frankel? How's he doing? Oh, he's doing fine. Keeps asking about you. Really, you want him over with that Tootsie Pop routine? We need to talk. What's the point, Lisa? Jack, please listen. You were right. I did lie to you. And I don't understand it, really. Gambling is your disease. And mine is... something else. I'm so scared of losing that I don't even place a bet. And the thing you have with my brother? A twisted, familiar fascination. And probably the surest thing to have sabotage a relationship with you. Oh, Jack, I don't know why I do it. What do you want, Lisa? I don't know. Something different. Um, something promising. I'm not all that promising. I'm a, I'm a gambler. I'm commitment-phobic. I know, but you're trying to get better. Yeah, but it's a long process. I know that. For me, too. Can we try again?
again. Jack, you have to say yes, because I have you written in here, in ink. I'll give you a Tootsie Pop. Thank you.